Hey guys, I'm George and this is You Want to Watch. Welcome to the Saturday Sunday Tool Hall. Went to a couple of estate sales on Saturday and of course the flea market on Sunday and this is what I amassed. Um, hopefully you guys will sit back, relax and enjoy and I'll go through what we got. So let's get at it. Let's go. So let me just start right here. We've got a nice little sanding block, handmade. That's pretty cool. It's got that nice radius to it. I like that a lot. So pick that up. I got two Bernards. Um, this one is just like duck bills. This one looks like one of the uh, ticket punches. And Bernards. Yeah, it looks like the ones that people would stamp the old tickets with and stuff like that. I'm sure there's billions of these out there somewhere. Got a Red Devil uh, glazing stapler. It still works. It's going to be a pretty cool restoration. I got this awesome Stanley hatchet. Notice the hole. It's from the Bell system. So I'm sure they use that for the square nuts. All right. Tighten up. One tool, one job. It's pretty cool. I got this snap-on Stanley. Snap-on Stanley. I got this snap-on Torco meter. It's pretty cool. Gauge is in really good shape. Needs a clean up. There's a little bit of surface rust here on the edge of the gauge. Um, it's a Torco meter, TQ50A. Um, I got a metric set of the um, uh, Challenger Proto. It's missing one, one wrench, and uh, it's not the 10 millimeter. 10 mil millimeters right here. And that's the 13. So what's that? 11 or 12? You know got that I'm pretty happy to have that I have the standard set right over here got the standard set these the ones that are missing from uh, here are in the evapo rust but I got those a couple of weeks ago so let's get this stuff out of the way since we already went through this all right, dog stuff barking. Got this huge, perfect handle screwdriver. That thing's a beast. Needs a new handle, but uh, that's nothing that I haven't done before. So, of course, this will be a restoration. I don't know a maker on there. Haven't cleaned it up. Haven't done nothing to any of this stuff yet. This is all farm fresh, dusty, and dirty as hell. Got this pretty cool little hook. Looks like somebody made it. Little piece of angle iron with some. J hooks just tack welded to it. Nice little square. Again, completely covered in rust. All this stuff is going to have to be uh, de rusted and cleaned up. Got an Athol. This is a 623 and a half. Nice little vise. This thing hasn't seen much much use at all. This thing is in perfect shape. Basically, just it just needs a good cleaning. Um, let me move this out of the way. We can continue to keep working through this tool hall here. Got a first aid kit. The only reason why I grabbed this, one, because it's a metal box, and, uh, well, you know, you can never have too many first aid kits. But this one's the waterproof one, so it's got the rubber gasket around the inside. And uh, inside of it, there was two live 50 caliber shells. So I'll bring these to work and uh, dispose of them properly. But, uh, yeah, I got a really nice little uh, waterproof first aid kit. So I'm pretty stoked about that. 
get that out of the way. <coughs> Next box. This is an SK box. It's in relatively piss poor shape, but uh, with a little bit of cleaning, some elbow grease, I think we can uh, give it a nice little rat rod restoration look. Um, there's a whole bunch of nuts and bolts and stuff like that in here that I don't need. So I will throw them in the proper bin. Just so you know, that was the trash can. Decal's in really good shape. I don't know if you guys can even see that. It's dusty and dirty, but you know what? I need a nice size toolbox for my SK tools, so I got that. Um, this one. This one's full of a whole bunch of weird stuff. Again, it's an organizing box and I really like it. But it's got a bunch of letter uh, numbers in there. So there's sevens, eights, threes, twos, more eights, more twos, fours, uh, fives, fours, sixes, and then a whole bunch of these brass, I don't know, like, um, you see them on, uh, like, grounding wires and stuff like that. I forget what they're called, but uh, a whole bunch of those in there. So, I got that just for this box. Really like the box. Over there, get that out of the way. We've got a park box. This thing's a little roached out, but there's enough color on here, I think, to give it a nice little clean up rat rod look. This thing's been sitting in a wet basement for so many years, but I do like the style of it. And this is full of, man, it just a whole bunch of weird stuff. It's a little ratchet, I can't read. Can't read what type it is. Um, measure tape. Couple of screwdrivers, a trailer, a trailer ball, some wiring harness to like an old trailer, a half of a Cornwall electrical stripper. Old wrench. Not oh, the billings. Sweet. Holy crap. What's in there? Um smells musty. There's a Craftsman book. Uh, it looks like it's for tap and die. Tap and die threading accessories. Boy, if this if this was in better shape, I'd send it off to somebody else, but it just smells like mold, mildew. Yeah, just a bunch of uh, wiring stuff. Old butt connectors. Looks like a bus bar here and a couple other electrical things. Nothing that I'm into. But, again, I like the box. I wanted the box. So, that looks like some sort of a pulley or a puller. So let me get this out of the way too. All right. So we got a keen cutter. Nice little carpenter's hatchet. Look how nice and pronounced that keen cutter is on there. That's pretty cool, right? The head's in great shape. There's no mushrooming anywhere edge is almost perfect on it. Unfortunately it doesn't have the original handle. So it's not like it's loose or nothing but yeah we'll have to rehandle that one. Alright. 
got his little vise. Thing's kind of cute. Got a Industro Super 2739. Nice little 3-8 ratchet. Sweet little tape measure. This is a uh, Baldwin. 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 Little pair of vice grips. Got a super adjustable JH Williams and Co. This is a uh, little eight inch. They're always nice to find. Nice little flat bar. I got two dividers. These I can't really read them. I don't see the Pexto logo on there, so I don't think that they're Pexto. If they were, I'd just send them off to Mr. John Fix. But um, a couple of dividers. Got a nice, a nice little puller. I saw this and I just, I was like, man, you don't say them that size too often. But anyway, got that little puller. Got a 12-inch uh, Craftsman. That's pretty cool to find. Again, I don't find like Craftsman wrenches too often either, the older ones. This one's a Bonnie, Bonnie adjustable 12 inch. That was pretty cool to find that. I bought the wife a uh, crane utility knife. Uh, what's this? Baltimore little half inch chisel. The thing's brand spanking new. It's never been used. The edge on that is just super perfect. Look at that man. I mean it's like almost razor sharp that thing's never been used. So uh, I got two plums. We know who these are going to. It's the pebbled inlay there. This one's a 5 8 This one's a 9 16 Happy to find those. I don't find that too often in that area. Um, I got another plum. This is all plum. It's all quarter inch. I don't think the box is plum, but who knows? I don't see any writing on there that says plum or anything like that, but um, I was pretty stoked to find that. Johnson's Paste Wax. I finally found some in the wild, guys. Cost five bucks for this can. And uh, you know what? I don't care. I wanted it. So I finally found it. It's a half can. Happy to have it. Um, Fairchild. Little drill. It's got the index right up here so you can set your drill bits in there. I don't know if this works or not, but I only paid a dollar for this, guys. Um, I was super stoked to get it and it even has the chuck with it too so but this looks like a chuckless key yeah it's chuckless chuckless anyway it's a fair child there's a couple of drill bits in there and there's also a pokey thing so, not sure why that's in there but one of these days I'll get around to seeing if this thing works. I'll have to put some insulated gloves on so I don't get electrocuted. But for a buck, man, I mean, come on. You know? The box is worth that. Especially with the writing still on there. Fairchild. Let's see what that looks like with some WD-40. like because I don't want to pull that sticker off. Oh yeah, look at that. Fairchild. That's pretty cool. Even if the thing don't don't work, I, I still think it's pretty cool. Um, I got this little stool. Little white stool. It's going to be a little shop stool, kind of uh, industrial, you know. I'll, 
you know, scrape it down, pop the top off, give it a new paint job, probably just stain the seat. Uh, I don't know if I'll do a video on that. I might. Who knows? Um, where, where do I even start with this? Um, so one of my flea market guys gave this to me. He knows I'm pretty big into woodworking and all sorts of stuff like that. So he said, hey, I found this. You want it? Free of charge. I was like, shit, yeah. So I think I can do something with this. I'm not sure what right offhand, but I'll definitely figure it out because, uh, you know, this is a whole lot of history right here, and uh, I don't want to see it getting thrown out either. So we'll incorporate this into something. Put this right over here. Uh, this little almond kiss tin. It looks like. These are all chucks. Um, don't know really anything about them. Can't read anything on them either. So, but for the price, I'll find somebody. Maybe James will want them. These are handles to a uh, tap and die, I believe. Who knows? Anyway, they're right there. I got a bunch of uh, half inch fitting brushes. Can always use these, you snip them off. Um, they make really good cleaning brushes when you're doing you know, fiddly work. Always use those. Um, I'm going to wrench in here. So, I don't know what any of these are. Oh, well, I'm taking this back. These are all SK. SK, 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 SK. SK. Oh, that's right. I do remember this now. Yeah, I started looking through them and every one I saw was SK. So I wound up grabbing this. Let's go to the this little wrench in there. Um screwdriver, I don't see any marks. On there. I'm not sure about that. This one looks like a Klein. It doesn't say Klein. This one's just a spray painted plastic jabberdiff. There's an all pokey thing, whatever you want to call it. Can't read anything on that either. That kind of sucks. This is a uh, Craft King. Sounds expensive. Put that right there. There's another one of those uh, Craft Kings. So I bought this specifically for this little tackle box. I like the style of the um, tackle box, and I want to make this my youngest son's little tackle box. Uh, let me sort through this stuff, get it all pulled out, and uh, we'll get back with you here in just a minute. Alright, so after spending the last hour wire whaling, figuring out what the hell I got here, I got this big pile of crap. Alright, that's stuff that's Ill illegible and uh, just basically garbage stuff. Um, we've got three Mustang sockets. 
Never heard of Mustang sockets, but we got three of them. I got a, <coughs> excuse me, a couple of really good craftsmen's here. <coughs> uh, Craftsman BE. This one is a Circle H. And this one is a Circle H as well. So I know who these are going to. Um, we got some GM sockets here. Um, only assuming that it's General Motors Company because it says GM Company on there. Uh, these are help me out here now guys um, I guess I can look look these up but it just gives a size and it's got a star stamped on both sides of the size I don't know who these are please focus but there's a star let me try and get it focused in a little bit better it's probably not going to do it for me anyway there's a star on both sides of the size so if you guys would know shout it out in the comment section uh, got a couple of huskies got a couple of uh, international harvesters This one is a Thorson. These are chrome vanadium. Just says chrome vanadium. Uh, again, chrome vanadium. That was supposed to be with that one. Got two snap-ons. These are pretty old. New, damn it, New Britain. New Britain, and oh, I already did those. Okay, so that's it. So at least we know what's in there. We know that these are all the SKs. So let me put the uh, snap-ons in with the SKs because I'm keeping those. All right, do we go to wrenches or do we go to... Let me get these out of the way real quick before I lose them. <coughs> okay, wrench time. Let me grab an adult beverage. little thirsty. It's hard work, man. Holy crap. Alright, so what I think I'm going to do is just separate these into um, basically brands. If they're not a brand, then they're just um, cheap stuff. I'm going to throw it over here in my cheap stuff pile. This is a Thorson uh, Power Master. Don't know what that is. That's going over there. Husky, Fuller, Crescent, really Double Buck. That's going to stay here. Kmart's going. Or what? Bonnie's? Bonnie, Bonnie. Those are going in the resale. Industrial. Dunlop. Yeah, so the wrenches weren't that good, guys. Not in that little tote. Thorson, Thorson, 
Morrison Forson. What do we got here? Popular Mechanics, Volkswagen, Offsets, Bonnies, Wire Wheel and Buffalo. These are automotives. That's just going to go Alright, what is this? Oh, we've got a Bonnie right on top. Bonaloy. Um, so I'm just going to start taking the stuff out of this gray box. Zoom out a little bit so you guys can see. I'm going to start taking stuff out of this uh, Craftsman box because it looks like it's all wrenches in there as well. So, nope, no it's not. Got a tap handle. Got a, um, shit, what's it called? A uh, little coping saw. Let me put that stuff over here. Tap handle. That one's pretty nice, actually. Oh, got his nut. Oh, got two tap handles. Three tap handles. I'll we'll have to clean these up and look them over. See what brand they are. Oh, another tap handle. Somebody liked their taps. Got a glass cutter. Where's the popular mechanics? Oh, right there with the glass cutter. Uh, I saw a here we are. A bunch of those. So I don't use these and I don't know who does. But uh, they're going to go into the resale bin right off the bat because I think they're just crap. So roached out that needs a wire drive. Electrolyte, electrolyte, Billings, Vitaloy. So these are all, I guess, wire, wire wheel here. So oily and nasty. Ugh. Oh, that Val Val Chicken, whatever it's called. Another one of those George wrenches. Got as a Sears. Throw that in the resell. Oh, got as a fleet. I know who that's going to. Oh, got a socket extension. Man, everything is just so greasy and nasty in there. So you guys seen what I got right there. Um, I'm going to press pause on this and uh, clean up this mess a little bit. And then we'll start on this box of sockets, shall we? Give me a minute. All right. So we're going to start with this box. Here's the tray for it. It's a nice little Sears box I picked up, you know. Completely full of all these sockets, so. All right. New Britain. 
Proto. Armstrong. Proto. Where are my other Protos? Proto, Proto. SK, keep that. Stanley, that's new prep, Stanley. SK, SK. Japan. It's crashing. Oh, Bonnie, here it is. Over there. Well, not that good, but uh, that's my tool haul. I'm going to take all the junk, all the China, Japan, um, Malaysia, Thailand, all the funky stuff. Uh, I'm going to set that in a box. I'm going to sell the whole box for absolutely nothing the next time we go to the uh, market when we're selling. Um, I did get a whole bunch of SK. That's pretty cool. Um, one fleet. I got the snap on and the good stuff in there. We're going to keep a hold of that. And uh, yeah, so that was my tool haul, and I hope you guys liked it. Like always, stay safe, be safe, and uh, we'll see you with the next video. Hopefully, it's uh, a lot better than this one. All right, guys, be good.